Megan, out in theaters, new horror film about a robot doll that inevitably becomes evil and goes on a murdering rampage, much like Child's Play and uh, many films involving the Chucky doll. I remember right when I first saw the, the trailer for, for this film, I thought, well, this looks positively deranged, and I took notice that they're boasting about it being written and produced by James Wan. And I went, hang on a second, what was the last horror film that Wan was involved in? That's right, it was Malignant. I remember going to see that movie and experiencing what for the first half was a fairly derivative but serious horror film, and then suddenly in the second half the movie just became completely insane wacko comedy. I wasn't prepared for that shift uh, then, and I ended up not liking it so much, but I know that a lot of people enjoyed Malignant for what it was. In any case, when going to see Megan, I sort of kept that experience in the back of my mind, and this time around I did expect a silly, weird, ridiculous film. <laughs> and I think that was the, the right move, the right mind frame to, to be in, because the film follows a path somewhat similar to Malignant. I mean, okay, right from the first scene you can feel that it's not meant to be serious at all and that it's tongue-in-cheek, self-aware and silly, but at least for some time it, it, it maintains the facade of, you know, trying to go the, the regular horror route. But then when it goes all in, it's not really scary at all, it's just fun and stupid and ridiculous, in a good way I thought. I mean I was laughing at many points of the film and I kind of enjoyed it for, for what it was. Now, yeah, sure, it isn't flawless. I mean, there are evident pacing issues with a lot of slow scenes between the fun action. I think that some of the actors are completely aware that they're acting in a comedy, and, and some of them try to play it all straight, so there's a little bit of a mismatch. Uh, I didn't care for the little girl's performance. I think she was unimpressive, and I did find the protagonist, who's the girl's aunt, who's also the designer of the robot doll, to be such an insufferable and, and 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 maybe not evil but annoying character and I just rooted for the murder doll to, to, to kill her basically 10 minutes in. But I do think that that at least was in part intended. I also think that the murder scenes feel a little bit tame and I, I learned that there was the original cut of the film which was R-rated and then they realized it's, it actually wouldn't be so difficult to cut it down to PG-13 and, and have this expanded audience. So I, I fully believe that that more brutal R-rated version would have been much better still. But even so, I thought this was a perfectly serviceable popcorn fun. Um, however, I will say that I did attend a fully packed screening, and to my surprise, most of the audience didn't really react to it. There were many points of the film where it was just me and another person or two laughing, and I could sense the others are very serious and going like, what What the hell is this? So I think it's exactly the same thing that I had with Malignant, a case of missed expectations. So I really, really think that you need to know what it is you're going to see before you go to see it, because in this case, if you're expecting a serious, scary horror film, you're just not gonna get it. Uh, there is no tension here, there's no sense of dread, no emotional engagement, no fear to be had. But if you want to see a tongue-in-cheek pastiche, a deranged but dumb and also funny movie, the type that you can see after a beer and a joint with your mates in order to have some laughs, then this may be exactly what you need. I personally am not a huge fan of this type of film, so for me it was just decent overall, but if you enjoy dumb fun, I think you're gonna love this one.